Tonight in medical rounds, 3,000 people in the U.S. are kept alive with a mechanical heart pump. They're either waiting for a heart transplant or living with that pump for the rest of their lives. But what if one of these patients went into cardiac arrest? Proceeding with CPR was always considered to be fatal but not anymore. Joining us tonight is Dr. Jason Gluck, the medical director of the Mechanical Circulatory Support Team at Hartford Hospital, who developed a device to educate first responders on how to treat someone with a heart pump. Good evening, Dr. Gluck. Nice to have you here tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, first, tell us why performing CPR in a patient with a heart pump was considered dangerous. What can happen? So historically, when someone goes into cardiac arrest, chest compressions are used to help blood go round and round. So too does the most mechanical heart pumps. The way the pumps work is there's a big tube about the size of a garden hose that's sitting in the main pumping chamber of the heart called the left ventricle, and another tube about the same size that sits in the major artery coming off the heart called the aorta. And the fear was that if you did chest compressions, that mechanical trauma could disrupt these tubes and cause the patient to bleed internally, and that would be bad. Hmm. Well, I love this part of the story that I understand uh, you have developed a device, something that you worked with in your garage to help first responders identify and treat patients with a left ventricular assist device, one of these pumps or mechanical heart pump. Tell us how you developed it and how does it work? Yeah, so my background started as a fireman and a paramedic, and we used to see these folks on a regular basis. So um, we saw the need for a training opportunity, so we developed a simulator, which looks and feels kind of like a regular CPR ante that has this left ventricular assist device in it. And with those um, simulators, we're able to then treat not only EMTs and paramedics, but also patients, their families, our nursing staff, our advanced practice staff, and even physicians on how to best address and treat these patients. That's fantastic. So there's new hope for anyone with such a pump. If they should have a heart problem, uh, at least first responders will know how to approach it and, and save a life. And good for you for tinkering in the garage. You never know the, the inspiration and the ideas that can happen there. Thank you so much, Dr. Gluck, for your time tonight.